So I've decided it's about time that my Acanthus Scoria Diniculata showcase spider starts to actually uh, earn its keep, so to speak. This is a bit of like forest floor type stuff. Yeah, because he's he's always going to be a display spider, whether it's a he or a she anyway. And I just want to get some uh, action out of him, really. Yet again, I've got all this amazing moss today. I think he'll like a bit of this. He's not a burrower. It's not even a go in the hide type thing. Just I'm going to check for any more ice pods, because the last one I had those on. Nope, not alright. So, a nice blob of that in there. I'm trying to think, I think this is the front. No, that's the front. Okay, the reason there's a, one side's got like tape marks on it. However, the front is sort of where the moisture is going to be easy to get to. So, I don't anticipate he's going to burrow, to be honest. Should give him a chance, just in case. Just, I mean, I'm, I'm not a big fan of these coconuts. These, I make them myself. He's got somewhere to retreat to. Maybe we should say that. Not strictly a burrow, but somewhere he can go. Like even just now. Now, a nice big water bowl. Just having an upgrade. That's dried up nettles or something. Like that. It's a weird time of year for collecting moss. Well, collecting leaves, I should say. You can get the moss. The leaves. In, in the, the one woods I've been in today, let's put it that way. It's not going to be the same everywhere. Um, yeah, because the a lot of green stuff has fallen all over the forest floor and it's sort of a bit annoying. Would that be a good place for it or would it be actually on the moss? I think, I think around the moss like that. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I like that. So, without further ado, let's see what happens when I get him out. Pretty spider, as everyone knows, these are. Is it a well behaved pretty spider? That's the issue. I'll do with that catch out. So, as I say, I've had mixed success with this type of. I don't think he's a walker over, I think he, he, he moves quite fast when he wants to. But he'll reach up for the brush. Yeah. Does that mean he's in the mood for walking? Go over. Okay fall off or anything, but I think you'll just go there. Yeah. yeah. We should get him. Well, let's, get, let's get him off. No. He still wants to eat that brush. That's it. Ooh. Right, so that came out of the way. We can have a good look at him. He's obviously very hungry. He can have a roach. What a beauty. I mean, I watch other people's videos as well, everyone says the same thing, what a stunning, what a beauty, blah blah blah. But I mean, what else can you say? You, you sort of almost have speechless by some of these things, they're so amazing looking. Let's give him a roach and see what he thinks to that. I suspect that he would like a male do here. Dangerous way to go, Mr. Dubia. Take it very easy, although he's a bit... Oh, oh, I see one of those little ice pots down there. Just there. <laughs> Can't save them all. I think I think this moss and the, the wood that's under it is absolutely boring. Come on. Whoops. I think he's freaked out because of the move. He didn't go quite as smoothly as it was. not saying no, he's saying yes please. Okay then. Ooh, crunch. So we can say that he's hungry and dancing and... Ooh, he's almost let go of it. Poor old roach. Pushing into him again. It's good against this green background. Poor old roach. Right, anyway, it's time for some photos. Just thought I'd try and catch him doing his walking around. Very pleased with himself for getting that roach, I think. It's, 
So I'm like, oh, okay. Not had time to actually explore his new house. So he's just walking around with the road through the mouth instead. Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's going to be nice to actually see a bit more of him actually as well. And they're locked away in these little boxes. Sometimes you don't get to see a lot of them. Either.